Every distance you see in Azeroth is wrong. Look at this, 500 yards. Now I'll switch over to the French client. What, it says 500 meters? But a meter is different from a yard. Well, strap in, because if me telling you it would take 27 and a half minutes for you to walk to the end of Elwyn Forest feels wrong, then get ready and join me today on a journey to discover the true size of Azeroth and get a massive upgrade at buyraycon.com forward slash bellular today's sponsor, where you'll get 15% off your first order. Now these are the wireless everyday earbuds and there's no wonder they've got over 50,000 five-star reviews. They're a brilliant package even before our discount. The look and the feel is premium. They are absurdly comfortable and they're super compact in the ear. There's no dangly stem. And of course, if I do this, oh, they of course pass the shake test. Of course, being half the price of the usual suspect is pretty damn sweet. And being in-ears that come with five different silicone tips, you get brilliant noise isolation. Of course, pair once and they'll auto pair for life with 33 feet of top notch sound quality range. Now, Raycons have got 32 hour battery life and offer eight hours of continuous playtime. Now I'm used to like four hours on the other ones that I've used before. So to be honest, it makes the Raycons a complete no brainer because I'm never caught without charge and they last long enough that within the workday, I don't have to think about charge all the time. They also come in five gorgeous colors. So thanks Raycon and hit up buyraycon.com forward slash bellular. With that said, let's go and discover the true scale of Azeroth. Behold the Eastern Kingdoms. Extract all the mini maps and this is what you get. This is the ADT grid. You don't need to understand it. Just know that each grid square is 1600 feet. That's 533 yards or 487 meters. So far, all easy. This method is overall quite simple. Take screenshots of every continent with the ADT grid. Take a raw minimap export of each continent. Scale them together, line them up, and now we have a high quality Azeroth scale map. I know how many meters each grid is, and that means I know how many pixels across each grid is. For my file, one pixel is 7.5 meters. You'd think this would make everything easy. I did too, but uh, no. Prepare to be bamboozled. First, let's have some fun. This is Manhattan. It's 21.08 kilometers from the Statue of Liberty viewpoint to the tip of the park near Hudson Bridge. Here is the Eastern Kingdoms, minus Quelthalas. From the Quelthalas portal to the southmost beach of the Cape of Stranglethorn is 17,316 meters. But that's incomplete, so let's rip Kelthalas out of the Outland map and stitch it back together. This is real easy because once scaled, we can use the ill-fated Quellithin Lodge to line them up. Repeat the measurement and we get 20,961 meters. So the Eastern Kingdoms are 119 meters shorter than the island of Manhattan. For a fun tidbit, put it sideways and Central Park actually goes from the border of Red Ridge to the border of Elwyn. Does this feel strange to you? It did to me. Now, that turns out because while these distances literally are correct, there's actually something else at play. The 5k. The 5k is a target for many beginning runners, and those who live outside Stormwind's outskirts are pretty lucky. Elwyn Forest is a perfect trek. Beginning at the bridge to Westfall, running to the border with Red Ridge and back again is 5,097 meters. Now though, for things to get strange. Let's snip those 97 meters, work out how fast you or I would do it, and then how fast a World of Warcraft character would. So Google Maps uses a three miles per hour walking pace. That's 4.82 kilometers an hour or 12 minutes, 27 seconds per kilometer. At that rate, the Elwyn Forest 5K would take 62 minutes and 15 seconds. And this is where there are alarm bells. Okay, here's how fast your World of Warcraft character would do the same course. Remember, a WoW character, RP walks at 2.5 yards per second. There's actually a script that you can use to check this for yourself. It's just over 35% of run speed. Just so there's no cheating, look at this walk animation. 
I think we can all agree that a WoW human is not walking that fast. So, a WoW character will complete the Elwyn 5k in around 33 minutes. Oh shit. How do we have a situation where a human walks like this, an Azerothian human walks like this, and somehow the Azerothian is nearly double as fast? Well, that, my friends, is down to a little thing called scale. Well, let's validate things first. Is a meter a meter? A yard a yard? Well, from the Tower of Azura to the Red Ridge border is a thousand yards in-game, as validated by the map pin feature. That same distance on my map comes to 916 meters, slightly off the 914.4, which is what a thousand yards actually is. So all of that is to say that whenever I measure meter in yards, it all lines up. It's nothing to do with, say, an in-game yard being different from a yard on the map. The stuff checks out. But to make it a bit more personal, whenever I'm walking into work, I do so at 11 minutes per kilometer. That's 1,000 meters or 1,093 yards in 666 seconds. Or 1.66 yards per second. A walking pace like that would see me walk the Elwyn course in 54 minutes. Okay, cool, faster than Google's walking speed, but still much slower than a RP walking Azerothian human. How does that make sense? Am I weak? I mean, to move as fast as an Azerothian walks, I'd have to start jogging probably. And that's the rub. I'm treating my 1.66 yards per second as if it was the same units as an Azerothian's, 2.5 yards per second. But to be accurate, I should say I walk 1.66 Earth yards per second, while an Azerothian walks 2.5 Azerothian yards per second. Are Azerothians true superheroes? Superhumans? Perhaps. I mean, their run speed is 7 yards a second. That is around the same speed as the 5k world record racing pace. And that means that a gnome runs as fast as this guy. Yeah, almost every world size comparison that you have seen about Azeroth misses the fact that Azeroth is a different scale to planet Earth. An Azerothian meter is significantly larger than an Earth meter. Yet in this video, I'm talking about traversing Azerothian distances with speeds that are derived from the scale of planet Earth. That's why it taking a Google Maps human 62 minutes and 15 seconds to walk from one end of Elwyn to the other and back again feels wrong. It's Earth meters per second, but it's traversing Azerothian meters, and those are not the same meters. Let's get a quick fix for this. So if we were immediately teleported into Azeroth, it would take you or I so long to walk that route because we're actually tiny. That's it. Azeroth's at a bigger scale, we're small. To take our Google map speed and increase that to the same speed as an RP walking Azerothian, we would need to scale it up by 1.866 times. So cue the gnomish imbiginer. You walk into it, and now that you're scaled to Azeroth, nothing is odd. Your walk isn't a jog, the numbers make sense. The regular running speed of a character isn't greater than the world record 5k pace, and all is well in the world. Yet, you return to Earth, but still had an Azerothian scale, then you, sir, would be a giant. A 180 centimeter tall person would be around 340 centimeters tall. That's obviously not to say that height scales linearly with walking speed, I'm just doing this as a dramatic device. Still, in a world where a running animation that looks like this is roughly this speed, a WoW human would have to look something like this if he was taking a stroll down Central Park. Here's what a Pandaren would look like. It's a nightmare fuel. Boy howdy, your skull would not last long between these thigh- ah, Sorry, I mean, this is a wacky journey. This is what happened when I tried to work out what the size of Azeroth is, and not just in meters, but in a way where the human experience of traversing the land actually makes sense to you. Yes, the Eastern Kingdoms is around the size of Manhattan, but its scale is different. Uh, to visualize this, sure, it's the size of Manhattan, but everything inside it, inhabitants included, is comically large. That's essentially what it looks like. Okay, 
If I put any more impossible to edit scenes into this video, the editing team are actually going to kill me. Next time, we're going to go fast and we're going to learn just how big the Dragon Isles really are. So there you have it. This was a wild ride. Initially, I was just going to do like one video, but then I ended up falling into this rabbit hole of working out scale. And I think the idea though, that if you try to like match Azeroth and Earth, what you basically get is Azeroth, like, you know, it's the size of Manhattan. It's just everything inside. It's like big and scaled up. The people included almost, and it like uses different meters, but oh man, it's fascinating when you line all these things up actually. So this was such a blast to do. There is more where this is coming. Um, videos like this, obviously, a bit more wacky, a bit more goofy, a bit more off the wall. But uh, I think it's just fun to make them. So let me know what you thought of this one. What you thought of, like, the scale of Azeroth and all of that. Because the idea that an RP walking character, like, the actual speed printout that the game itself gives, is the equivalent to, like, a normal human jogging. When you actually look at the speed of an RP character, it, it doesn't make sense. And now with what we've done today... It finally makes sense. Not going to say that this was the most burning question, or, you know, it was really killing me not knowing, but I'm glad I went on this journey, and I'm glad I found out what I did. So if you want to support videos like this, head up the Patreon. There's lots of cool shit there. Um, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you thought. See you next time.